machine learning algorithms are not so smart as most of people think. Hey, my name is Dmitry Efimov and I'm, I'm a Kaggler. So I discovered Kaggle when I worked as a professor at the American University of Sharjah in 2020 and one of my friends invited me to participate in the competition and I opened the great world of machine learning for myself. In fact, machine learning is a fun for me, but I have several additional hobbies. I love practicing my Rubik's Cube speed solving skills and I enjoy playing poker and tennis. I also like watching dystopian movies. My life is closely connected with machine learning. I'm leading machine learning research team at American Express. And our main goal is to find novel machine learning solutions for different re risk use cases, such as fraud detection and credit default prediction. And actually, this is very creative work and I enjoy it a lot. Actually, when I started, there was no Grandmaster status yet. I think I started in 2012. But even if I imagine myself starting to participate in Kaggle competitions now, I would never think about achieving any status. For me, machine learning is a hobby and a great fun. And I love solving machine learning problems most of my time. I think this is the best approach to any new things that you learn. Never think about reaching any status. Uh, just read the excellence in what you're doing. I would say that being a part of Kaggle community is a great thing already. Machine learning world is very small and most of people know each other. Being a grandmaster gives you a great feeling that people appreciate your achievements. It also gives a lot of responsibilities. I think grandmasters should definitely share their experience with the people who have just started their machine learning trip. That's a very good question. In fact, I don't think that uh, I can share everything because there are a lot. But I would like uh, to highlight only two things now. First of all, I really got this capability to organize my machine learning code to the final product that should be delivered. Because at the end of competition, you should provide the final solution to the organizers. And the second thing that I learned a lot is to find the best solution in very limited time. And it helps not just in machine learning uh, problems, it helps in your life. That was definitely a risky business organized by American Express in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. The data was very rich and very well organized. My favorite part in machine learning actually is a feature engineering. And I enjoyed the competitions where I can use my creativity to produce this new and more powerful features. And actually, uh, Risky Business was one of that. First of all, I think the Kaggle community is a very unique and it should definitely grow together with machine learning area and attract more and more machine learning talents. And second of all, as machine learning area evolves, the community should evolve as well, probably creating some groups with, uh, within communities such as reinforcement learning, Kaggle community or theoretical machine learning Kaggle community would be a good idea for the future. Uh, I would say that the advice that I give to everybody is use common sense. In fact, machine learning algorithms are not so smart as most of people think. And I can uh, tell you my opinion that there are three levels of knowledge uh, you know, and expertise in machine learning. So the beginner level uh, at the beginner level, usually people ask the question is um, how to use machine learning algorithms. And on the intermediate level, people ask which machine learning algorithm to use. And on the expert level, you should ask yourself, do I really need machine learning algorithm? So that's why please just help machine learning algorithm with your common sense and you will become a superhero. Thank you, everybody. Bye.